In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Lightmatica for Minecraft Java version 1.21.9. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, just go to your search bar and search up mod rent like so. Now enter, and here you will find modrinth.com and modrinth. Simply click on modrinth, and this will bring you to the modrinth website. So from there, you simply want to go to discover content on the top of the website. Then you want to go to mods. Now you want to go to search mods, and then you want to search up lightmatica, like so. Now, just go ahead and click on the mod's name, and this will bring you to this page. To continue, you want to go to versions right here, and then you want to go to game versions, and choose 1.21.9. And now, you will find your version. So, you simply want to click the green download button, and then you want to continue. To continue, this means getting dependencies. This mod requires two dependencies. It requires Malalib and Fabric API. So to begin with Malalib, you simply want to click on the mod's version name, and this will bring up the dependencies right here, Malalib. So simply click the dependencies name here, or box, and it's gonna bring you with another website page where you have to do the exact same thing. So simply click versions, then game versions, then 1.21.9, and now you'll find the release. Make sure to get the green release here, so this is Malalib release, and then you simply want to go ahead and click the green download button. And now you have Malalib and Lightmatica downloaded. The last thing is Fabric API, and to get Fabric API, you don't go through the same process, you simply want to go to Discover Content, Mods, and Fabric API, which is right here. If it doesn't show up, search for it, but it should be here somewhere. So simply click on the mod's name, then versions, then game versions, then 1.21.9, and just get this release of Fabric API. So let's just demo this using the green download button. And then now you should have all files you need. This is everything you need from Modrinth because you need to get yourself fabric. This is something completely different from Modrinth. So once we're done with all the downloads here, we can continue with the other part of the download, which is fabric. To get fabric, it is quite simple. You simply want to go to a new tab, then you want to go to your search bar, and then you want to search up fabric Minecraft, like so. Now enter, and here you'll find fabricmc.net. Simply click on fabric, and this will bring you to this page. Here, simply click the blue download button, and then click the blue download for Windows button. And now, you're done with your web browser. So you can now go ahead and mi minimize or close your web browser. I'll just close mine. Then you can go to your file explorer, and then you can go to your downloads folder. Okay. Once you're here, simply double click the fabric installer, this is step 1 of the downloads folder, so just double click this, and it will show up with a installer window. Simply make sure the Minecraft version is 1.21.9, and if it is, click install, ok, and close. It is that easy. And then, you simply want to go to your Minecraft launcher. With the Minecraft launcher, you will be able to go ahead and actually add the mods to the mods folder. So basically, here we have Fabric Loader, and you simply want to go ahead and go to Installations. Then you want to hover over Fabric Loader and go to the folder icon. Then you simply want to find a mods folder and double click it. And once you're here, simply go to Downloads, select the three mods and copy them. Then go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder and click paste. And now you copy pasted three items in dot Minecraft mods. So once you have everything, Fabric API, Malalib, and Lightmatica, just go ahead and go back to the Minecraft launcher, 
go to play, make sure Fabric Loader 1.21.9 is selected, and click play. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up. Okay, so once you have Minecraft, you can start using Malolive. So I did do a tutorial on how to use Malolive in greater detail, but I am just going to go to a single player world here and go to a tutorial world to show you how to get started. So basically, here we are in our world like so, and if you want to get started, you will have to click the M key. There's the M key and it shows up with this little menu here. And from there, you can go ahead and actually use different tools with Lightmatica. The important thing here is tool mode here gives you different tools you can actually use to actually edit the settings of Lightmatica. So yeah, keep these in mind, you might need to change them over. There is a keybind for this, I'm not entirely sure what keybind it is, but that is something you will have to look at. Uh, another thing is the area editor. This is to actually go ahead and select your area and you can go ahead and actually create a schematic or even load schematics if you want to the game like this. There's different ways of loading them but here you can just go ahead and actually load them to the game. If you just go ahead and go to these you'll be able to go to your files and actually add them and stuff like this. There's a lot of things you can do with Lightmatica but the idea is that you can go ahead and have the possibility to create and manage schematics around your world and you can of course share those schematics around with different people or just upload them online if you want so that is something you can do with Lightmatica which is pretty cool so yeah I hope you liked this video and yeah make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one bye